to uh, find the developer tab on Excel and on Word using Mac Office. To get to the developer tab, which is not as functional in the Mac version as it is in the Windows version, we come to this ribbon on the side here, and you can just about see it. It says click on ribbon preferences, a little blue arrow that comes up. And then what we're going to do is we're going to scroll down and we find the developer tab here. And then one tick and you've turned that on. Now that's uh, useful to get this extra set of tools. Unfortunately, it doesn't give us the ability to insert Shockwave as it does with the Windows version that I've tutored about before. The other thing that we want to do in Excel to make it uh, nicely compatible with some programs we work with is to turn on iteration. And we're going to do that here in the formulas area. We're going to click on settings and the calculation options will bring up a box. And this is normally left unticked. We want to tick limit iteration. And that will let you have a date function that will appropriately record the date using now and uh, not update that every time you enter a new column. So the limit iterations is very useful there. Then click on OK and you're done with that one. Now let's also put the developer tab on in Word. Exactly the same in Word. We're going to put the gear option here. Ribbon preferences is the first one that turns up. And we're going to scroll through until we find, I've gone too far, the developer tab. And here it is. And we tick that, put it on. We've now got the developer tab here. And we do have the Visual Basic editing. We do have the add-ins, combo boxes, text boxes, and drop-down menus, uh, which I've also tutored about with Word. So lots of those things. But unfortunately, we don't have the legacy tools option that would let us, uh, and more tools, put in a Shockwave or a YouTube video directly into the Word document. So it's one of those unfortunate things that uh, Mac is not compatible with. But we do have these other tools, which are useful uh, and we can place them in the Word document.